Welcome to the video for creating subprojects and deployments in your eMammal project. So when you log in, your dashboard is going to look something like this. You'll have your camera deployments here assigned and your projects listed on um, the right hand side. So you will need to go to whatever project you need to create subprojects and deployments for. So I'm just going to use my test homepage as an example. So when you land on your home page, you are going to go, want to go into your project. You click More under Project Details. And that will take you to the um, Project Database page. And then here, if you're an admin member of your home page, you should see this Edit button right in the upper right. And you want to click on that. Once you're in the project, um, this is the information. You can change the title of your project, who the owner is. You can add principal investigators. You can change who the project contact, contact is, etc. You scroll down and you will see your sub project menu here. I already have several sub projects. If we wanted to edit those, we click this edit button. But if we want to create a sub project, we press the create sub project button and it opens up a pop up where we can create our sub-project. We can add our title here. You can, um, if you have a sub-project design, you can um, start adding autofill. This was our designs for our Urban to Wild project. You can request to have something similar. So that those are value-controlled fields, so everyone puts in the exact same phrase. Will automatically assign this sub project to your home page, which is good. And you can even add deployments from here. You can create a deployment, it'll open a second pop up. And you can add your deployments here. You can add um, treatments. We, these are different treatments we've used in other projects. You can add a description of the treatment. You, can, you must assign it a value, so all our deployments before they have a camera set out are assigned to somebody. You can set the proposed location that you would like. Don't worry about the actual location. That will be filled in automatically by our desktop app. You can um, fill in a, a proposed date sometime in the future you would like it to be and a proposed retrieval date as well. You can choose to notify some group that you've updated this. And then you need to assign this to a user. You need to use the drop-down menu because that properly assigns the user in our database. You can click add another item to add multiple users to a camera. and so on. Um, you also can add bait fields. We have a set of standard bait fields as well as features the camera may be set upon. And then you can enter the sensitivity setting of the camera, image resolution, quiet period setting, etc. And this is also already automatically assigned to um, your home page. We can come down here and we publish it. It automatically inserts that deployment into our subproject. If you would like to add another deployment, you can simply click Add Another Item. And you can create another deployment and so on. When you are done, you can come down here to save this, hit Publish. And it will save the subproject underneath your project. And there we go. If we would like to add another subproject, we hit Add Another Item. And you can use the buttons to create your additional subproject. Once we're all done, we need to scroll back up here to save all those changes to our projects. And once you do, you come back up to the project page where it shows you the information about your project. 
If you would like to work within a subproject to create deployments, see we've misnamed that subproject. That should be subproject four. You can start at the subproject page, which will reduce your number of pop-ups, and edit here. We will correct the title here. And we can come down, open up deployments. And you can see you can create a deployment right from the sub project. And only have one level of pop up. When you're done here, save your changes to your sub project. And you're back to your sub project page. If you would like to go back to your project page, you can simply click on the link under project. And return back to the project page. If you'd like to go back to the home page, that is linked here by the home page. This creation process allows you to create a project that is spatially or otherwise subdivided into sub projects and each of those subprojects has one to many camera deployments that can also have a, a plot treatment level and as well as a bait type and feature type allowing you to have maximum flexibility in your camera trapping study design. Thank you for using eMammal and be sure to check out our other instructional videos of how to use the eMammal website.